So with the rear of the stock removed, you can see a couple of uh, new features I have on this. You see a string stop right here, and it's low profile. It's not drilled into a T, so you can totally remove this part or the stock from the main body of the blaster without, uh, without having to untie the string. It's completely contained. As you can see, this little piece of uh, polycarbonate here just serves to uh, prevent the plunger from spinning around because it is a unidirectional catch, not an omnidirectional catch. To prime it, all you do is pull this front part back and it actually pushes on the, uh, the front of the plunger here and you'll see it prime right here. The rainbow catch is right here as evidenced by the little screw right there. And when we push it uh, back, that's actually what creates the uh, vacuum by you pulling it back forward here. To fire it, and this is why the sleeve is over here, uh, a trigger would push up on this, and I don't have one here because it's just an experiment, but we could fire it just like that. This gun isn't exactly, uh, isn't as powerful as my standard rainbows. That is part of the caveat with these larger diameter ones. I haven't quite gotten it perfected yet, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It was a very nice experiment, and I will definitely be doing more stuff with some of the larger diameter uh, plunger tubes here uh, in terms of reducing friction and reducing mass of the plunger uh, because you get a shorter draw. This draw is only about five and a half inches to five and a quarter inches. Standard would be more like six and a quarter, six and a half for my particular rainbow blasters. To reassemble, it's actually rather easy. Just line up the assembly hole here and then screw in one, two screws holding the blaster together to reassemble. So because of the problems mentioned before, this one doesn't get as good range as a standard rainbow. It is again just an experiment. You see I don't actually have a handle on this. just kind of want to see how it goes. I'll shoot at the wishing well and you'll actually be able to see that the velocity isn't as good as I really want it. And there we have a vacuum problem there. That's because this is not the, um, the backflow plunger head I think that Ryan McNumbers makes. As you can see, there we go. It actually wants to spring back on me because of that vacuum. I'll let it go here just so we can relieve it. <laughs> We're keeping that in. Well, that was this little experiment here. Thought I'd give everybody an update of what I've been doing. This is one, and uh, for the next couple days, I'm going to be making a lot of uh, good rainbows as opposed to whatever this <laughs> is. Don't judge me, Roberto. It's nothing big. Ready? Deal. You can do it from the side this time. I can, can I do it from anywhere? You can do it from anywhere. Can I hit it from the back? Sure. Ready? Oh, that's in the video now. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> That's sick. Are yeah. you ready? Yeah. yeah.